the Yamaha YZF R6, a legendary and iconic 600cc super sport that has won many races and continues to provide thrills to many riders. Another popular Yamaha, the WR250R, which I owned and loved. I hated selling that bike. It's an absolutely awesome, legendary, bulletproof, low-maintenance, dual sport where you can do a little bit of everything and it provides thrills on and off-road. The number one most legendary and iconic Yamaha, the Yamaha V-Max with its ultra-powerful V4 engine that produced 200 horsepower. And what do all three of these iconic and legendary Yamaha motorcycles have in common? Bad news. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I tell you, I have some really awesome gear. This ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe. It's all my gear. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. The Yamaha YZF R6 debuted in 1999 and it was the first production 600cc super sport to receive 100 horsepower. It could do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds and run the quarter mile in a cool 10.97 seconds at 204 miles per hour and it weighed only 430 pounds. And the second generation R6 got even better with a total redesign that transformed the bike's looks and performance. The bike's weight was reduced down to 417 pounds and the looks of the bike, oh my goodness. That is one of the most beautiful sport bike designs ever. It still looks awesome here in 2020. And in 2008 and 2009, the power got bumped up to a whopping 127 horsepower and 43 pounds feet of torque in stock form. And in the quarter mile, it ran a 10.67 at 210 miles per hour. Absolutely amazing and super popular among racers, which have won many races, including my cousin. Uh, street riders love it, stunners ride it, even many beginners have foolishly started on this bike. Third generation and current R6 recently got a redesign that made the bike more aerodynamic. They gave it a new shock, aluminum fuel tank, magnesium subframe, ABS brakes, and electronic rider aids. It does have the same engine as a previous generation. They just really just made it more current and it looks a lot like the new R1. Unfortunately, Yamaha is discontinuing the R6. I'm guessing because they didn't want to redesign it to meet the Euro 5 emission standards. And the 600cc class is not really that popular for the streets anymore. It's great for the track, but there's so many street fighters out nowadays that people are not riding super sports and super bikes on the street like they used to. That's just my opinion because they are still making available the race version of the R6 for racers, non-street legal. How do you feel about the discontinuation of the R6? Leave a comment below. Now to one of my favorite motorcycles that I personally own for over four years, the Yamaha WR250R Dual Sport, which is super low maintenance, highly reliable, highly durable. It has a 250cc liquid cooled fuel injected single cylinder engine with a six speed wide ratio transmission two gallon fuel tank 29 horsepower 17 pounds feet of torque at the crank top speed 87 miles per hour this bike was made to compete with the highly popular drz 400 the reason why i chose the wr over the drz is because the wr is 25 pounds less it has a six speed transmission and it's fuel injected as where the drz is carbureted which kind of sucks in cold weather uh, but you can't go wrong with either bike but the wr250r and drz are both legendary and the wr250r you can do a little bit of everything it may not be the greatest at any one thing but you can sure enough do a little bit of everything and i did just that i had a great time riding this bike on the street on the highway um, i rode it up pikes peak back in 2015 in stock form and that was really awesome and fun had such a great time um, i've ridden it and just ride it in raw woods you know no trails just any old woods i rode it in over logs and just having a good time in some gnarly woods had so much fun 
and of course on the grass I you know blasted it on the grass and did some slide action had a lot of fun um, I, I took it to Yellowstone out in Wyoming uh, rode it up in the Rocky Mountains uh, in addition to Pikes Peak I rode this bike up staircases I, oh man just being a straight hooligan on this bike um, I had so much fun on this bike and I'll tell you guys that I love this bike so much that I spent the most money in mods on this bike. I spent over $4,000 in mods on this bike. Uh, I do have a WR250R playlist that has all my videos on the WR250R and will cover pretty much anything and everything you need to know and want to know about the WR250R. I'll include that playlist link in the description and comment section of this video but unfortunately they discontinued the WR250R why maybe because they didn't want to meet the Euro 5 emission standards so they didn't want to have to redesign the bike and also Honda came out with the CRF 450L which a lot of us anticipated and it's the only manufacturer to create a street legal dirt bike of the big four Japanese manufacturers um, and it's a highly popular bike so maybe Yamaha is gonna come up maybe with a WR450R or something like that I don't know who knows I haven't heard anything but uh, or maybe this is gonna completely discontinue it now the XT250 uh, is still gonna be available and also you know the little bike the little TW200 is still available for sale and that bike is ancient man so I'm shocked that they got rid of the WR250R, but like I said, they're probably going to create a 450 to compete with that CRF450L. So what are your feelings on the discontinuation of the Yamaha WR250R? Leave a comment, let's talk about it. Last but not least, the legendary Yamaha VMAX that debuted in 1985 with that amazing 1197cc liquid-cooled V4 engine. 145 horsepower, 83 pounds feet of torque, top speed 150 miles per hour. And then they made it even better in 2009 and upped the engine to 1679 cc V4 with 197 horsepower, 123 pounds feet of torque, 170 miles per hour top speed. Absolutely awesome and amazing bike. This is a bike that I was going to buy, guys, and it's really unfortunate. That they discontinued this bike but i hope they come out with an even better bike that's what i'm hoping so what are your thoughts on the discontinuation of these three absolutely awesome and amazing legendary icon motorcycles leave a comment let's talk about it here uh, all three of these bikes are, are awesome bikes absolutely amazing and i'm very very shocked to see that they are discontinuing these bikes but yet they're gonna keep the the old the super old Yamaha TW200 and the XT250 is really old too uh, but those are pretty much grandfathered in uh, dual sports so those are really cheap for them to continue to produce that's probably why and I, I just have a feeling that they're gonna come out with some new bikes to replace these bikes with I just have a great feeling I don't know about the 600 though because 600s aren't really that popular at least the super sports aren't because a lot of people are riding the Street Fighters now on the street instead of super bikes because there's so many amazing choices of Street Fighters these days like my 2020 Yamaha MT-09 which I did a full review on and I modded and did a bunch of videos on uh, that MT-09 go check out my MTL 9 playlist but from my understanding ridership is down because of the current situation that we're in um, you know things are not that great for a lot of people a lot of people are having a tough time you know paying bills people have lost their jobs and so obviously the last thing they're gonna get is a motorcycle but I will tell you guys for those of you guys that are working and if you're feeling down because of this situation that we're in the best thing you can do is get a motorcycle it's going to make you feel a lot better but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel and check out my other channel bug out moto deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.